Good evening from the Central Illinois Weather Network. I'm Larry Eastep. We do have a, a fairly serious storm uh, just to the southwest of Des Moines, Iowa this evening. It has prompted uh, several reports of tornadoes. This is about 70 miles uh, to the west of Des Moines right at the moment. Uh, and a tornado warning continues in that area. This is at the top of your screen, top middle of your screen. Let's zoom in on this a little closely, a little more closely from the Des Moines radar. Take a little wider view, and you can see here with the Storm Lab, we're getting one, two, three, four, five different cells that are indicating some. 3D rotations, uh, rotation at multiple levels here, uh, starting to see this line really fire up, and that has prompted a tornado warning to be issued. Uh, you see several counties here under this warning, but uh, the county that uh, it's 8:15 Central Time now, so Cass County is the only warning now under this uh, particular. Uh, only county under this particular warning. The tornado warning remains in effect until 8:30 for Eastern Cass County. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicates, uh, continues to indicate a tornado at 8.09 Central Time. It was located near Cumberland or 72 miles west of Des Moines moving north at 55 miles an hour. So this radar image is about eight minutes old. That now has moved into the southern part of Cass County out of Montgomery and Adams County. So let's take a closer look on this, put uh, Storm Tracker Plus pathcast on this with uh, Storm Lab and show you what we're talking about here. This cell, if it continues along its per current path, uh, we're putting this in Lewis uh, at around 822, Atlantic at 829. Wyota at 829, National Weather Service, so uh, actually their warning is saying 825, so between 825 and 829, uh, Marne, it looks like for 833, Brayton for 840, Elkhorn at 843, Audubon at 853, Kirkman at 856. Again, tornado warning till 830 for Cass, Eastern Cass County in, Il or in Iowa, rather. Uh, Eastern Cass County in Iowa, this is about 70 to 75 miles west of Des Moines. And this would be a tornado located near Cumberland, moving north at around 55. Now, further to the south, you notice those uh, icons there, those uh, blue dots uh, lined up to the north of Maryville, right along uh, the southern border of Iowa. Let's put a pathcast on that, because that particular storm is also moving north at around 55 miles an hour, so it's going to affect some of the areas that just had this tornado that was possibly on the ground move back through again. We we're talking about uh, towns such as Carbon around 835, Elliott 843, Cumberland again around 852. So National Weather Service at 8:09 p.m. Central Time was reported reporting a possible tornado located near Cumberland, 72 miles west of Des Moines, moving north at 55. If this storm continues along its current path, it will be in Cumberland at 8:52. So Cumberland. Uh, folks in that area, if you're in safe shelter, I'd stay there because additionally, another storm is moving your way, and at the very least, golf ball sized tail and winds in excess of 60 miles an hour are likely with this storm as it moves along the same path. All these storms are, are marching to the north, and you can see uh, the, the detail there, very prominent. Uh, a bow echo uh, with the, the line to the north here, again now over southern Cass County, as, as these images are a few minutes old, uh, had rotation in it, has that classic comma shape. More concerned to the south now, a V-notch uh, forming in this uh, particular cell that is over portions of Taylor, Page counties in Iowa, and going on down to the south. Uh, it looks like uh, around the Maryville area, they uh, are just escaping the brunt of uh, the particular storm. This is on the eastern side of the watch that is in effect, so I would not be surprised either to see a watch issued further to the east if, if this continues uh, to develop. This is a nasty looking line stretching all the way up uh, through Iowa from Des Moines northwest, but the southern portion of this line out through Kansas is really starting to fire up northwest of Kansas City. As a matter of fact, uh, the uh, western suburbs of Kansas City Metro are seeing a severe thunderstorm right now as this storm marches across the Kansas-Missouri line. In Kansas City Metro, this uh, line is showing no signs of weakening at all. I would say with the next hour to hour and a half, you're going to see the brunt of severe weather right in your particular area. A lot of these cells moving to the north, so we're going to look to the south. Around Oklahoma City, you see again uh, cells popping up, a supercell there uh, just to the east of, uh, northeast of Oklahoma City, that uh, moving to the north as well. Uh, let's go back here real quick. I want to uh, do a, a velocity check here on this storm. We'll uh, zoom in here a little closer. 
again, you always look for those reds and greens. Uh, Southern Cass County, we're seeing the red and green there. The radar site itself, you can see all the multicolors up in the upper right corner of your screen. A lot of noise there. Uh, that's the radar site. So we know we're, we're a good distance away from the radar site, and we're seeing this red and green together. A lot of grays filling in there. That's areas where we're getting no data at all. So that red and green, real bright red, real bright green together, indicates uh, there we got a better view of it going into the southern part of Cass County now in Iowa. Very prominent uh, rotation. This uh, again has been reported by train weather spotters a funnel cloud located nine miles south of Grant at 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, 45 miles northeast of Turkio, moving northeast at 30 miles an hour. So uh, getting reports in again of uh, uh, reports of uh, tornadic activity with this storm and that's definitely being confirmed by radar here as you can see over the western half of Iowa this evening. So we'll keep an eye on it throughout the uh, evening hours and again folks in the Kansas City area watch out for the possibility of severe weather and possible tornadoes in the next hour to two hours. I'm Larry Step with the Central Illinois Weather Network.